Yeah, look, I'm not too too sure about the um, the external views, but certainly internally we've got a uh, we've had a really big focus. We're just kind of uh, building on some of the really strong foundations that have been been here over the last few years and really connecting all those parts of our game really in terms of uh, it might be our offense and our defense our defense with our midfielders and our midfielders connection with our with our forward line so that's been a big focus of, uh, for us we've had some some new coaches as well as new players so that's been a big focus over the preseason. Now Wisher I've been looking for Connor McKenna for weeks why did he leave and how did he get him back and is he expected back this morning? Yeah he'll be back he's back in the country came back last week and uh timed it really well he came back for the mini break that the players had so he had an extra few days off but he's he's back ready to go and uh, he went home just to sort of regroup himself and uh, you know miss obviously being away from so far from home that you can't just get back regularly and uh, being a real homebody um, he was missing it a bit so we gave him the opportunity to have that extended period at home and felt like when he was uh, ready to come back that would be the best time for him. Hey, uh, Ben, can I just uh, ask you what an amazing opportunity has been presented to you as a young man who wants to be a senior coach, to have alongside of you a man like John Worsfold, who's coached premierships and a, a legend of the game, to be able to, on the job for 12 months, sort out uh, how it works for you. You must be uh, pretty pumped with that chance. Yeah, look, it is to us. I mean, it's um, yeah, it's something that's not really uh, afforded to new coaches all that often, but, um, yeah, it's certainly a great opportunity to... Um, you know, to learn from you know the most experienced coach in the game and uh, someone with all of Wush's experience has been fantastic. So it's been a uh, you know a pretty steep learning curve for me over the last sort of you know four or five months. Now, Ben, can I give you a word of warning from my experience? Uh, West Coast Eagles Premiership coaches, you reckon they're going to be involved in a secession plan? They they can go rogue. <laughs> has it always worked out? Has it? They can go rogue. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, we'll have to keep a bit of an eye on that, Eddie, if you want to uh, catch up at some point. Hey, Wush, how are you going to plan it, mate? Uh, we heard the other day you're going to be on the bench and uh, Ben's going to be up in the in the coaching box. Uh, it, it looks like the two of you, even just in the pre-season, have been co-coaching, if you like, as opposed to uh, one being sort of the master, the other being the apprentice. So can you take us through how you're planning to do this this year? Well, yeah, it'll be uh, it'll move a little bit throughout the year, of course, but yeah. uh, it's probably moved really quickly uh, in terms of uh, Ben coaching the actual game plan and, and match day because he's looks really comfortable, ready to go with it. So I haven't felt the need to say uh, that I need to be match day uh, addressing the players around our ball movement or around our defence because Ben and, and Blake have been doing all that pre-season. So uh, it's a good position to be in, um, in that, one, I'm, I'm really excited with what, uh, what Ben's bringing to the footy club. Uh, and what he's, how he's going about coaching uh, the game plan. So uh, overall, we've been working really closely together throughout the pre-season, mapping everything out, trying to make sure we have the best possible uh, plan in place to get the players prepared. But as Ben said, a, a new coaching group. So I'm able to spend some, uh, some more time with some of our uh, less experienced coaches and support them. Um, but certainly just our general conversations I have with Ben, I, I sometimes forget... Uh, some of the stuff that you do know that you've learned over the years that you take for granted that I'm able to just have those really short conversations with Ben with any questions he's got or uh, bring up some small things around how match day operates uh, that he's got to be aware of and, and plan for. And Wish, are you seeing this as your last 12 months in the, in the senior position as a coach? Is there ambition for you to do more of this in football or are you hard to look past this 12 months? I'm certainly not really looking past this 12 months, but uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we'll see more of this in the game in, in that. I see some, some young coaches, and I've seen it over my time in the game, that uh, young coaches come in with great skills, uh, enthusiasm and energy, but the game can wear you down. The pressure when things aren't going well over an extended period of time. Uh, coaches really can go inward and, and lose their communication skills and lose all the things that got them the job in the first place. So... It's really through those really tough extended periods of time where the expectations are high that to support a young coach could uh, mean that the success that they're able to bring um, is never that far away, but uh, you've got to be able to uh, help them keep the focus. Boys, is Joe Danaher in the column of uh, if he gets up, that's a bonus? Uh, well, our absolute plan is to get him up. Yeah. Um, and so we're not seeing that as a bonus. That's our job. Um, you know, we've got to give our players the best uh, environment and the best opportunity to achieve their own 
personal goals while they want to help us as a footy club achieve what we're all here for. So we're absolutely committed to Joey and supporting him, uh, getting him back on the field. Uh, I was just excited to see him running around and having a kick on the oval the other day. I haven't seen that well, that's good news. for a while. So, uh, yeah, it's um, that, that's absolutely a plan and we'll do it as soon as we possibly can without rushing it. And the skipper, uh, he was so brave last year, uh, dragging that foot around, big surgery over the summer. How's he going? Dyson Heppel. Yeah, he's going pretty well. He's been a bit frustrated that uh, the surgery went really well, but th- he got some other pain in his foot that we were mm. conscious of uh, what was causing that. But uh, we're really confident we're on top of it now. He's actually done a mountain of work in the pre-season. He's, he's feeling really fit and strong. So now it's just piecing everything together over the, over the coming weeks and getting him ready for the season. Good on you, guys. If it works, it works beautifully, this situation. You two seem to have a great rapport with each other. So we need the Bombers up and going this year. It's great for football and all the big Victorian clubs sure are going. Sure yeah. uh, so I say that to a South Australian and to a West Australian, <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> but you know what I mean, boys. Uh, and thanks for your time on Triple M Footy and uh, wish uh, as we get through this year, you lasted coaching at the Bombers. Uh, we'll get in early and just thank you. You've always made yourself available and we really appreciate it, mate. No worries, Ed. Thanks very much. Good thanks, on you, mate. Thanks, thanks, thanks Ben. Good on you, buddy.